Hello everyone, welcome back to another Gravity Sound tutorial. In this video we'll be looking at creating a portal sound effect. If you're a fan of sci-fi movies and film, this is the right tutorial for you. I'll be showing you how to turn sounds like these into a sound effect like this. Now to do this you're going to need three things. One, you're going to need an audio recording device. I'm going to be using a basic iPhone just to show that you don't need expensive equipment to do what I'm doing. Number two, you're going to need a digital audio workstation or DAW. I will be using Logic Pro X. Popular free versions are Pro Tools First and Studio One Prime. I will link a download in the description below. And number three, you're going to need creativity. You're not going to get anywhere if you're not thinking outside the box and being creative. You could have a $5,000 microphone and all the best plugins, but it's only going to get you so far. To start, Watch your reference clip multiple times to get ideas. Don't be afraid to act out sounds with hand gestures and mouth sounds. For our example clip, we will be using a scene from X-Men Days of Future Past. Be sure to slow down the clip to really break it down. It's harder to see the details in real time. I will divide the sounds into two parts, portal opening and closing, and portal when it's open. Now once you have an idea of what you want your portal to sound like, it's time to grab your audio recording device and start hunting for sounds. For the portal opening and closing, I will open a sliding door for a general opening sound. Drag a chair for another sliding sound to help complement the sliding door opening. Close a fridge door for an impact sound to accent the portal opening and closing. as well as open a carbonated drink for a nice sizzle to complement the fridge sounds. And squish a plastic bag to add more character to our open and close sounds. For the portal sounds when open, I will drag a plate with cutlery, run my fingers on a metal tin, And finally, crinkle some plastic for the little spark before the portal opens. Now once you've recorded all your sounds, it's time to open up your DAW of choice and import them to start layering. Keep in mind the positions of the transients when layering, as they will help guide you when you're stacking your sounds. Transients are the peak or spike of the sound where they experience a high amplitude for a short duration. Play around how you stack your audio as well as how you fade them in and out. I find stacking your transients on top of each other make for a stronger impact sound, while fading out your audio with a strong curve can make it seem smaller. In Logic, you can press A to bring up the automation screen. When you're happy with your layered arrangement, we can start applying processing effects. For this portal sound, we will be using a combination of EQ, compression, chorus, and reverb. I like to compare EQ to shaping a clay statue. We can mold our audio elements into a cohesive sound that complement each other. By boosting or cutting frequencies, we can accent certain elements in our sound effect. With that said, the first effect I use is EQ. We can automate frequencies to add more movement to the sound. We can finalize the loudness as well as reshape the transients with a compressor. We can start by setting the loudness with the threshold and ratio parameters. The threshold sets a loudness checkpoint, while the ratio sets a volume level after it passes the loudness checkpoint. For example, setting a 2 to 1 ratio means the sound will be half as loud after passing the threshold. After setting the loudness, we can turn to the attack knob to shape our transients. If the attack knob is set to 0, then the ratio will come into effect right away. The longer the attack, the longer the ratio takes to kick in.
A great sci-fi effect is chorus. Chorus can help widen your sound and make it less flat. We can set a frequency to target, intensify it, then mix it to taste. I find the higher the frequency, the wider the effect. Reverb is the go-to effect for adding depth. I typically use a combination of a large and small reverb space. Because I use two reverbs, I can use the small reverb to bring forward certain elements, while using the large reverb to glue the spaces together. And after brainstorming, recording, layering, and processing, we can finally see our finished sound in action. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you learned something in this video today that will help you tackle your next sound design project. As always, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe for future content. If you have any suggestions for other sounds you want me to create, drop in a comment below and until then, cheers.